global elites and the far left will not let their current climate crisis disappear, will they? They'll do whatever they can to make sure this emergency, quote unquote, actually sticks, which is why the fear mongering over climate change has hit a new high using their climate emergency and radical politics known as the Green New Deal. What's one of the first things Biden did when he took office? Well, he canceled the Keystone Pipeline, and as a result, gas prices have soared under his administration. Gas prices have actually risen significantly in the recent weeks. Gas prices hit a record high earlier in the Biden administration, surpassing an average of $5 per gallon nationally, and now they are rising again. Gas prices hit the highest level for early September in over a decade. And the price increase is following on the heels of news that Saudi Arabia and Russia are extending their voluntary oil production cut until the end of the year, which lifted prices for crude oil. Despite rising gasoline prices, the Department of Interior canceled the seven remaining oil and gas leases in Alaska's Arctic Wildlife Refuge, estimated to hold over 10 billion barrels of oil. Additionally, the administration will no longer allow new leases, lease sales in Alaska's National Petroleum Reserve. Canceling these leases after Saudi Arabia and Russia announced their production cuts this week will only raise prices at the pump. Biden says he cares about working class Americans, but this move proves that all he really cares about is appeasing his green donors. He posted this to his social media account. My administration is canceling all remaining oil and gas leases under, issued under the last administration in the Arctic refuge and proposing to protect 13 million acres in the Western Arctic. There's more to do, but we're taking action to meet the moment for future generations. Joining me now with more, founder of ClimateDepot.com and author of the book, The Great Reset, Global Elites and the Permanent Lockdown, Mark Morano. Mark, thanks for being here. Thank you, Monica. Happy to be here. There's always an ulterior motive, right, for, for moves like this. I, I guarantee you the Biden administration doesn't truly care about saving the planet. <laughs> what is going on here? You know, it's, a, it's curious timing. Uh, you know, this is... The same week that Saudi Arabia, Russia announced cutbacks of their oil to the rest of the world, and now he's taking away Anwar, which is the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, hundreds of thousands of acres, and gas prices have recently hit uh, near their all-time high, I think as high as back, you know, 2009, 2012. And now he does this, which sends a signal to the marketplace that the U.S. once again in case anyone doubted it, Monica, was closed for domestic energy exploration or heavily restricted. And the only thing I can think of is he is trying to shore up his base. And here's the bottom line. We have Gavin Newsom. You have Bernie Sanders visiting some primary states. You have what's happening to Mitch McConnell freezing on air. There's a sort of anti-octogenarian sentiment, and certainly in Washington, and certainly creeping into the Democratic Party. Biden's a little bit scared. Uh, this administration is scared. Hard to say what Biden is. So I think this is just a way for him to shore up his activist base and essentially to hell with the rest of America. I mean, he's got an economy, or at least pre-COVID, that had the, the energy dominance, more energy exports and imports, more energy production and consumption when Donald Trump was president pre-COVID. And he has dismantled that, Joe Biden, from day one. That's one of the only campaign promises he kept uh, and this is just a devastating blow to Americans. You want to talk about equity? This is a devastating blow to the equity agenda because it's poor minorities, senior citizens on fixed income who will pay the highest percentage of their income for higher energy costs. Yet again, selfish intentions and putting America last, um, all to try yes. to win a, an election, perhaps. I think you're, you're definitely right on, on the right track there. I did want to get your take on this CBS News article titled, Earth Just Had Its Hottest Summer on Record, UN yeah. Says Warning Climate Breakdown Has Begun. Mark, can you debunk this in 60 seconds for us? Absolutely. They used to say you can't look at a single day, which they did. They said, look at July 4th, the hottest day, 100,000 years. Even NASA debunked, NOAA debunked that. 
They are trying to claim now three hot months when the records for these only go back when you're talking satellites to the late 1970s, and we're coming out of a little ice age at 1850. Bottom line, Joe Biden's own EPA can debunk it in 10 seconds. The heat wave index in the United States was 10 times hotter than anything we're experiencing now in the 1930s in the United States, and that was before 80% of our CO2 went in the atmosphere. They are weaponizing weather. They are trying to set the stage for declaring a national climate emergency. That's why they're using hurricanes, a hot day, an ocean... Uh, Boiling temperature, which wasn't even a good indicator. Even NBC News debunked that one. But the UN is all over it. And, of course, all the other uh, big international organizations love this because it fits their agenda to claim that everything's unprecedented when it's not. The truth is there if you, if you have the time to do your own research, which is yes. why we're so discouraged from, from, from not doing that, uh, a.k.a. reading. Um, and unfortunately, 20% of people in America have been 100% propagandized yeah. into believing that climate change could force them to leave their homes, as the yes. Hill reports. Uh, Mark, do we, how do we tell these people uh, they're going to be okay? And uh, these fears were implanted, actually, just by the mainstream media. Well, you know what the best way, and, and you can go back to what you're, you're citing a CBS News poll, there's other polls now that just came out, and Bjorn Lomborg, the statistician in Europe, highlighting it. The more, and this is, goes back 10 years, these similar type polls. The more people know about climate change, the more they educate themselves, the less afraid they are by dramatic fashion. This is the equivalent of trusting Anthony Fauci or the CDC or the World Health Organization. And mask up and cancel church and, and mask up your kindergartners. And it's like, yo, say then you start looking into it and you realize uh-uh not only is it not that bad but it, i'm not going to do any of the measures they do so people need to have the same approach they did with covid the people who've been red pilled on covid and have the same approach now to climate look into what the un's claiming look into what the world health organization is claiming look into what the media is claiming and those poll numbers will collapse because the more you know the, the, the more you realize there's nothing to be afraid of. Climate change is naturally. In the words of climatologist Dr. Judith Curry, who just was on, uh, her new book is out, natural climate variability rules. Nothing happening today is unprecedented. Hurricanes, floods, tornadoes, droughts, wildfire storms. They've always happened. They always will happen. They're actually on slight declines on climate time scales. So the more people know, the less afraid they are. And uh, like you touched on, one of the goals of this climate alarmism is, of course, manufacturing consent to enforce new climate taxes. Yes. Uh, which was just discussed at the African Climate Summit. Yeah. Uh, world leaders are being called on to support global tax on fossil fuels. Can you believe <laughs> that? Um, so if we pay more money, the weather's going to get more better. Right, Mark? Yeah, I mean, this is a page right out of medieval witchcraft. Uh, you know, they actually believe the more we pay in taxes, the more we don't drive, the more we allow utilities to control our thermostat, we're going to have less bad hurricanes. If you, you can't fly in a climate emergency unless it's morally justifiable, the less you fly, France is banning flights. We're going to fight those floods and wildfires. This is insane. And we're actually having this as a scientific discussion in the year 2020. Three. And what's happening in Africa is that is a direct appeal for wealth redistribution because the UN has a climate slush fund. The highest attending nations to these United Nations climate summits they have in exotic locations are the African nations, are the developing nations, because they go on the promise of getting massive billions of dollars, began with the Obama administration, of pouring money into them. And a carbon tax is just the ticket in order to redistribute all that wealth to these leaders, which then they can build monuments to themselves and ensure their reelection. And by the way, do nothing for the climate. Uh, we are almost out of time, but I do want to get to this latest article, one of the latest articles. You <laughs> write so much, I don't know how you have the time, from Climate Depot that actually sheds light on the real uh, story behind wildfires. Yes, and not only is it the article out today about the arson being the number one cause in Louisiana, it was the cause of their largest wildfire in their history. We know two weeks ago that the big Greek wildfires, which everyone tried to say, climate change, climate change, has now been confirmed by Greek authorities to be caused 
by arson. We know the Canadian fires were likely caused by arson. We know the Hawaiian fires may not have been arson, but it was certainly close to that because it was gross negligence on the part of government. We know that at least 40% of the fires in Australia have been known to be caused by arson. So to sit here and say a wildfire, which by the way are down dramatically on climate timescales 50 to 100 years, is due to climate change, is like saying a flood is due to climate change when someone blows up a dam. Oh my God, first they put dynamite and it blew it up. Climate change, we told you you're going to be driving an SUV. That's the kind of logic we're in now. You have arsonists start a fire, which is then blamed on climate change, which then increases clamor for carbon taxes. This is an insane world in which we live, uh, Monica. It absolutely is. And, and Mark, thank you so much for your activism and speaking out and, uh, and looking into this and, and, and bringing us the facts and, and not having any other ulterior motives or selfish, selfish gains. You're certainly not gaining anything by speaking out against our uh, overlords. No, I'm called a conspiracy theorist, a climate denier compared to Holocaust denier. They do everything they can. And you could just see that Nobel Prize winning scientists just signed a, uh, a petition of 1600 scientists rejecting a climate emergency. You know what happened to him? He was promptly uninvited to an international monetary fund climate uh, presentation he was going to do. They're, they 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 silence, deplatform and cancel Nobel Prize winning scientists. So forget about me uh, for a second because this is much bigger. This is they're going after any dissent even if you have a Nobel Prize uh, on your on your mantle. Absolutely. Well, Mark, um, maybe I'll see you in the gulag. That's right. <laughs> thank you for being here. And Thank you. We'd like to welcome you to our new home for uncensored news and hard-hitting talk shows. If you're tired of cable companies and social media giants chipping away at your most basic and important right, freedom of speech, by shadow banning, demonetizing, censoring, and policing every single one of your posts, then One America News on Locals is just what you've been looking for. Finally, you'll have the freedom to express your point of view and stay connected with like-minded fellow patriots. And the best part is, OAN on Locals is only five bucks a month. All of our credible, honest, unbiased reporting, ad-free talk shows, and exclusive content, all at the fraction of the cost of cable. So to watch, just click the Join button to get the news you can't get anywhere else.